Welcome back to the channel. Today's Palm Sunday and the beginning of Holy Week. What's Palm Sunday and what's Holy Week and why do Christians reflect on these things? Stick around and I'll answer all of those questions. Palm Sunday is the day that Jesus comes into Jerusalem riding on a donkey, thus fulfilling the prophecy about the Messiah being a king who would ride into Jerusalem on a small colt. The story is found in all the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We'll read from Matthew 21 verses 1 through 11. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble, and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. The reason today is called Palm Sunday is because the people celebrate this triumphal entry into the city by grabbing palm branches, waving them in the air, and then placing them on the ground for the king. The palm branches were used to celebrate a victory, and the people believed Jesus was going to be a conquering king who would overthrow the Roman Empire and save the Jews from their Roman oppressors. However, Jesus wasn't the Messiah the people or even the disciples were expecting. He was a king who would lay down his life for his people. So Palm Sunday is the day Jesus arrives in Jerusalem to begin his journey to the cross. This leads into the second question about Holy Week. Holy Week is the week that leads to Jesus' betrayal, arrest, trial, sentenced to death by crucifixion, and bodily resurrection from the dead. There are events that take place on each day of this week that lead to these significant historical and spiritual occasions. And it's my goal to release a video each day this week that explains what happens on each day of the week and how those events lead to Jesus' death for our sins. And finally, Christians reflect on these events because ultimately we understand that Jesus sovereignly and purposely went to the cross for us. We know that it was by his life his shed blood, and his ridicule, shame, and suffering that we are rescued from the reality of hell, our own sins, and ultimately from God's wrath toward us for our rebellion against him. The events of Holy Week lead to the best news that has ever been delivered to mankind. That good news is that we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, who loved us so much that he gave his life for us. He has redeemed us, and for that we are eternally grateful and he deserves our attention and our worship for what he has done for us. I pray that this week you'll reflect on what Jesus has done for you and how God sovereignly had all of the events on each day of this week in history lead to Jesus' death for you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below, or you can email me and I'd love to chat with you. Until next time, blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen.